What's up, everybody? This is Killer Arcade Games. I'm out here in the garage today, and we're going to be working on tearing down this maximum force cabinet or conversion cabinet and start getting it ready to be switched over to my main cabinet. We have a lot of work to do. I think the plan today is to at least clean up the monitor or clean up the glass, get the glass out of there, and then get the monitor out of there so I can go test it on one of my other cabinets. A number of things will be done in this video, but uh, let's just get started. So the only way I can get the monitor off as usual is to go up under here and unscrew some uh, screws and I can get this metal retention bar off or glass retention bar, slide the glass out and then we can start pulling this monitor out. I doubt this is going to work, but let's see, no, not the right angle. Actually this whole thing is, a, this is an MK2 cabinet, so it's like an older version in a way and you really can't. I mean, maybe I can get to it from here, but I may have to take this whole uh, control panel or control box off. So I guess I might just do that to make my life easier. So I've never worked on a midway cabinet that is this old. The oldest one I have is Killer Instinct. So it's very possible that some of the stuff you know has changed a little bit, and I think it has. I'm not 100% sure. You know, I'm sure they realize certain things work better. Like I've already found that different cabinets have different uh, retention bar layouts and some of them curve forward so they can, um, I guess, easily take off the darn things or the, uh, so they can easily take off the screws and I just don't have that option here. So I guess they kind of learned as they went when they were building these. I'm gonna get the uh, ground off before I forget and then just start ripping this thing off and whoops, the ground is still there. Just screw that back on so I know where it is. Oh, I didn't think, whoops. Well, I totally forgot that the guns are actually attached right here by a screw. So I'm gonna have to get this screw out of here. I really wish they hadn't done that, but you know, I assume it was in an arcade and they had to get a little bit, uh, I don't even understand the point of it really. I get that you're trying to stop kids from dropping the guns on the ground, but this does not really do you any good when it still hits the ground. <laughs> Just made a hole in the cabinet and now I'll have to fix that. All right, one more carriage bolt to come out or whatever these are called. <laughs> oh. oh, the washer came off. Usually it's stuck to the wood. It's not a big deal though. Uh, if you look back here, you can see the Mortal Kombat 2 button layout trying to peek through. Looks like, I guess they use the uh, block button here and the joystick button there. It's a real shame that they do that to these cabinets, but I guess it's not that big a deal. You could probably convert it back without anyone really being able to tell, but we're not going to do that anyway. All right, so this is now free. I'm going to just lift it up and off. Yes, nothing's hanging on to it. Good. I have no clue if they actually put a stopper on this, so as soon as I can get this thing unscrewing, I'm going to do that with one hand and hold the bar just in case. I don't think they would have done something that crazy. I just would hate for this glass to fall out and break. Is there another screw I'm not aware of? Yep, one more. <laughs> so now I'm going to hold the bar. Okay. That's a big boy. Oh, geez. Yeah, that thing is on there. There is. That's crazy. Okay. Let's take a look at this. There is a stopper here for the glass, but the glass is just floating for some reason. Wow, I guess it was wedged up into the top of the cabinet. Let's see if these were finger tightened like. No, they don't seem to be. They seem to be really on there. So I'm going to use the tool, hopefully. Oh, man, they are really on there. There we go. Somebody was serious about tightening those down, which is good, I guess. All right, let's get this monitor out of here. I did notice now that the glass is gone, there is a vertical collapse burn line. I'm hoping that's not a current issue, like it's not in vertical collapse currently. Um, but what happens is the something on the chassis goes out. I'm not exactly sure what at the moment. I think it's the vertical IC, I'm just guessing. Uh, 
it just collapses into one spot. All the light is concentrated into the center there and it quickly burns in a line on the screen. That's happened to my San Francisco Rush monitor too. So that's what's happening here. Let me clean this really quickly and I'm gonna yank this thing out of here. All right, tubes out. Don't wanna set it on anything. Let's look here real quick. I'm always afraid to set down the monitor on something important. So let's pick it up out of here. This thing is very, very dusty. I got it out of the cabinet. It's quite dusty. I will clean all that up later. Uh, again, I have a monitor I'm already gonna use in this cabinet, but it's always nice to have a backup and it's nice to know if it actually works. Service by P and L. I don't know who that is. Unfortunately, the sticker is hard to read if it, I mean, it's mostly gone anyway, but it's hard to read. I read this sticker and Googled it. That came, the only thing that came up that I found at least immediately was um, U2000, a Wells Gardner U2000. I noticed these are pretty knocked over, but not a big deal. I can actually replace those fairly easily myself if needed. Uh, it looks like, hold on, somebody might have done some work to one of them, but otherwise, from what I can tell, again, I'm not a professional, most of the solder on the back there looks like it came from the factory. But yeah, overall it's just dirty, so I'm gonna get all, blow the dust out of it. And uh, then we can take it to the shed cade and plug it into Mortal Kombat 4 and see if we get a picture or if it explodes or if it smokes. This is the best view I can get you guys. This is the screen, I have not turned it on yet. I'm a little afraid to see what happens. Let's hope there's no sparks and uh, let's do it. No power to the monitor. Nothing. All right, well that's, that's you know, at least we know something now. Let me just check everything one more time. All right, I double checked everything. I'm just gonna try one last time and see what we get, if anything. Nothing. Okay, well that answers that. So this monitor does not turn on at all, which is fine. I don't need it right now or anything. Uh, I guess I'll be looking into that further. <laughs> In the last video, I pulled out the PCB to test it inside my MK4 cabinet. It did not work properly. It looked like the hard drive was dead. So in this video, I got a kit to replace the hard drive and switch the board over to Area 51 slash Maximum Force all in one game. I got my kit in to test this out. Here is gonna be what replaces the hard drive. It's gonna go right here. Or actually, it's gonna stick up off the board like that. And here are the new ROMs. So I'm gonna try to get these old ones off really quickly. I had a I had bought a tool for this. Seems like no matter what I buy, nothing just works better than a little old uh, prying it off with a flathead screwdriver gently. Hold on, we're almost there. Got him. Okay then. So one chip is out. Uh, I really don't need to make note of what chip went where in this case. So I'm just gonna get them all off. Just gently pry them up and out. I'm sure somebody's screaming at their computer screen right now. I'm not gonna show every bit of this because it's pretty repetitive. I'm gonna get these off and I will come back to you when I'm ready to put some new ones on. So just a little tip for you, by the way, these ROMs come with a notch in the top of them. And I have no, I'm hoping you can see this because I unfortunately can't really see. Wait, maybe I can, hold on, there we go. This little notch that's right there is gonna tell you which direction the ROM installs. So on the board, there's an outline and it'll have an outline of the notch printed on the board. It's probably hard to see on camera right there, but uh, if I remember, I'll get another shot later, but just pay attention to that because this notch has to line up or you're gonna cause major problems for your board, uh, or maybe it just won't work. But what I've always been told is it's just not good at all to put it in the wrong way. It could cause serious problems. I'm getting the feet lined up now, the little legs that are gonna go inside the chip spot here. Oh, let's see, got them wrong. All right, so I'm gonna just install this one and speed through the rest of this not really show it because there's really no need it's not super exciting or anything i think all the feet are sitting properly legs i think they're called actually this this one's acting a little funky let's try again okay let's see if i can get this thing into place oof sounds nasty when it goes in but i'll double check make sure we got all the legs in so far it looks good all right, I'll come back once I get all these installed so you don't have to watch me struggle getting all these in place. And here we have it, it's all done. I have 
triple check that all the legs got into position there. Sometimes these can be tricky, at least the first time I did it, one of the legs was like hanging out uh, over the edge where it should have, you know, from where it should have been essentially. So luckily I caught it before starting it up. I have the new flash kit installed here. I, I don't like that it sticks straight up. Um, if I do end up shipping this thing, I'm probably gonna pull that out and lay it next to it. But it is installed here and it's ready to go. It's now got power, it had a converter deal and it plugs into the board there. So it's time to go get the dolly, move out, hide, or move out uh, MK4 over here. And we will plug it into the cabinet and hope it works. The board is just kind of teetering in here, um, but it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go put you guys on the tripod and we'll flip the switch. Let's see, drum roll somebody. I don't know who has one. I'm gonna turn it on now. Okay, looks like we got some activity on the lights on the board. Could be stupidly loud too for all I know. Look at that. Ooh, looks good. Let's, let's let this play for a second. All right, so the board works. The board is functional. Yeah, the light's going, going bananas back there. Wow, looks this monitor is so beautiful. Well, that's all for this video, guys. There are several more to come on this project. I hope you're enjoying it. This one wasn't exactly action-packed, but I really wanted to get all this stuff tested, see if it's gonna work. Obviously, the monitor doesn't work, but it's okay. I think I know what the problem is with that. Uh, maybe I'll revisit that at the end of the series, but for now, I don't need it, so I'm just gonna put it aside. And we're gonna continue on in the next video with cabinet work, and this thing needs a lot of cabinet work. There's holes all over the cabinet. I started noticing after recording even the stuff you've already seen that the back edges of the cabinet are pretty torn up. So now I'm gonna have to probably bondo that to make a nice smooth edge. So when we apply the new art to it, it actually will make a nice edge there also. I'm still kind of considering trying to keep the uh, original art underneath, which is from what I can tell Mortal Kombat 2, but we'll see if I can keep it. I'm gonna try to citrus strip a spot on it, see what it looks like but I'm already leaning towards probably not going through all that trouble because the cabinet's got some dings where there's gonna be holes in the art already anyway. But don't worry, all that'll be on the next video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more arcade content and to follow this project along with me. And uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think so far. I don't know if I'm gonna sell that board immediately. The, the Area 51 Max Force PCB, I kind of have somebody interested already and I have another person interested also but you're welcome to you know say if you're interested leave me a comment and i will consider you also thanks again for watching i'll see you on the next video